Hi everyone. So yeah, probably wondering why I have on my little elf hat. Well, I have on my little elf hat because I'm doing a makeup tutorial slash contest entry for Make Me Up 89's Christmas contest. So if you want to learn how to do this look, it's like gold and cranberry colors, then stay tuned. So, as you can see, I already have my eye done. What I did first was just do my regular um, foundation routine with my Black Radiance uh, <clears throat> pressed powder in Warm Hazel and my concealer, uh, Black Radiance Concealer in 8001. I also used, for my eyes, used this Clean Color Palette and item number HSES. 124R. Let me use this gold color right here. And I also use this like this like pale um, peach color. And then I also use this uh, photo work the photo workshop <clears throat> palette. And within this one, oops, I can't get it open. I'm going to be using um, these <coughs> these two colors, this cranberry cherry color, and then this more purplish um, purplish like maroon kind of color. And I'm also going to be using this red color because I want a brighter red. And then for my blush, I'm going to be using these um, two colors right here. This is more like of a um, peach color. This is more of a bronzy kind of color. So we're going to use that. We're also going to need a green <clears throat> eyeliner pencil. And this is my eye and lip pencil in yellow green from Hot Topic. And I'm also going to be using my MAC uh, pigment in yellow gold. And my black Estee Lauder mascara, but you can use any black mascara that you want. This is just what I have right now. So let's get started. First, you're going to take your clean color palette and put that gold color on there. Load it up very well and put it on to the eyelid. Then you're going to take put a little bit and then line your eyes with it too. Line the bottom eye or lid of your eye. Then you're going to take the matte gold pigment, load it up onto your brush, put some into the top, load it onto your brush, and then put it over top of that other gold color. Now you don't have to use the MAC gold pigment, you can use any gold color that you want. Again, this is just what I have right now. And then do the same thing. Line the bottom line. Let me fall out. So have a little um, brush ready to swipe those away. Okay, now I'm going to take... Whoopsie. I'm going to take this color, that cranberry red cherryish color, load it onto my finger because it's going to be easier application. Just load it up. And start from the middle and pat down the color. Now this isn't highly pigmented, but this is just a base for that bright red color that we're going to put on there. So tap it in, don't smooth it. Then I'm going to take the other maroon, the maroon color, load it up to my finger, and put it over top of that other color. And I know it doesn't look like much now, but you will see how bright that other red color is going to show up on here. Because we're going to have to tone that red down. Okay, so clean my fingers off, just had a little um, wipe on hand. And I'm going to take this this red color, put my finger in it once, and you already see, just from that one time, this is how much pigment I got on there. So this is meant to be 
a blush. So, tap from the middle of your lid out. Add a little bit more, just tap and tap it on. Take a little bit onto where your brow bone starts. There we go. So you have half gold, half um, red. We're also going to take our little brush and take a little bit of the color and put on the outer lid where that red starts also. The outer bottom part of the lid. And take it to about a third of the way in. Not much red on the bottom. Then we're going to take our green eyeliner pencil and just go from the corner of your eye out a little bit so a little bit of green shows there. There's not a lot but a little bit goes a long way. So we just take a little pop of green. Now we're going to take that pale peachy rosy color, load some up onto our finger or your, on the brush. Now if you are going to use your finger, make sure that you, if you are going to use your finger, make sure that you clean off the other uh, red pigments that you use or switch fingers. So. And just put it right underneath the brow bone here. And then a little bit here. Underneath the front part, of, the beginning part of the eyelid. Or the eyebrow. Now I'm going to take just a little fluffy brush, nothing special. And blend those colors a little bit. And that kind of softens down everything. So now... I'm going to take mascara and black mascara. This is my Estee Lauder's More Than Mascara in Black. Blend to your top and bottom lashes. Now you can add fake lashes or false lashes if you want, but for me, I like the way my eyelashes look right now, so I'm not going to add any. Now you're going to take your Photo Workshop palette again. We're going to take a, a blush brush, a regular blush brush, and go into both that um, pale peach color and that bronze color. Just get some of that color on there. And smile big! <laughs> And put it onto the apple of your cheek and then go out outward until you get the desired rosiness that you want. <laughs> and now, oh, you're also going to need to use a mixture of this pink and red color. This um, bright red color and then this hot pink color. I'm going to use a mixture of it. They're lip glosses. And load them up onto the fingers and dab them onto your lips. You can also use a lip brush if you want. But a little bit goes a long way because we don't want bright red lips. But if you do want bright red lips, hey, that's what you want. Do what you want. So just a little bit of pale red and pink color and here is the look. I have my little snowman a little snowman um necklace and I just threw my hair up into a messy um bun and threw my little elf hat on. Got my sweater. Just a regular red tank top from um so just a regular red tank top. I think this one's from Old Navy. And then um, my teal sweater, which is um, Daisy Fuentes from Kohl's. And just matched it to my hat. My little elf hat, which you can make or pick up anywhere, craft store, whatever. So, yeah, there's my look. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And feel free to rate and comment. 
you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.